Hi, and welcome back. So in this video, we're going to dig into branded search volume, all right? We're gonna show you how to find that metric, how to measure it, and then also where to put it in your dashboard. Let's take a look. All right, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna be covering branded search volume, and you're actually gonna be wanting to use a tool uh, like Google, uh, like Google Webmaster Tools, SEMrush, or some third-party third tool to get this information because Google works pretty hard to uh, to kind of keep this information outside of Google Analytics. They want to make you uh, end up, you know, using something like AdWords to pull this info out. So let me show you what I mean by that. Where if we're in uh, our default channel grouping of organic search, nearly ninety percent of all our search terms fall under not provided, which is a total bummer because we can't really dig into that information. And so we'll see some things like digital marketer and other things get through. Those are from people that aren't logged into a Google account, which is why we can get that information, which, you know, at this point is a very small percentage of people. Furthermore, nearly 96% uh, of our revenue on this organic channel comes from not provided. So we need to start learning whether this is what type of traffic this is. What are the keywords that they're hitting to get to our page? Are they branded keywords? Are they non-branded keywords? Are they intent driven? what's going on there, which is why we use a third party tool and why we want to look into things like brand volume and those type, like branded search volume and, and the like. So this is an example of, for, of a tool called SEM rush, um, where we can start looking at our organic search positions and we can start seeing, you know, from our, you know, highest percent amount of traffic, that's a, we can start seeing, you know, things like digital marketer, Ryan Dice, digital marketer, one word, uh, Ryan Dice, two words, uh, are actually starting to, you know, really drive the most traffic. So branded keywords are actually doing a, a pretty big thing here. It actually turns out to just around one third of the keywords hitting our site are from branded traffic according to this report. Okay, so that tells us that there are people, you know, searching for particular bits of information, lead magnet being one, which is a concept that we talk a lot about, uh, email subject lines, everyone's looking for that. We have great content on that. And, um, and things like marketing manager salary, which is we created a, an infographic and nice post about, you know, the different jobs that exist um, and kind of talked a lot about our certs. So we have a pretty, uh, you know, at 33%, there's a good amount of people using branded search volume there, but uh, it lets us know that there's still opportunity to, to dig into some more of our content when we look at organic search position here. So there's some other things you could try if you don't want to shell out the money. I know SEMrush is kind of expensive. You can work in Google Webmaster Tools. You can also try to build out some things within advanced segments. So let's take a look at um, their gallery. So let's go to the gallery here. Click in. Google Analytics Solutions Gallery. It'll load up. And I want to know how to find something for branded search. All right. so. If you see this guy's face in here, Justin Catroni, next to a segment, you know it's going to be darn good. Uh, he is the analytics advocate at Google. So I'm going to import this. All right, all website data. And it's going to load me into the admin section right now. But here, we just need to start looking at keywords and then medium contains organic. All right, so let's start looking at, you know, Ryan Dice, uh, Digital Marketer, and then we can start adding some more. You want to keep going down with the or statement. Don't use any ands there. Um, Ryan, there we go, or Digital. So start pulling in that type. I'm not going to go through everything for, for the for sake of brevity here, but let's say that's all I can, can think of in terms of, um, let's maybe try like Molly too. Uh, or Perry. All right. So I'll hit save. It's going to lead us back in this admin section. We're going to go back to reporting. Um, let's get into our. So I want to see the branded go and all sessions. I just want in here. Let's remove that and let's also just get organic traffic. Okay, so let's do that. Apply. So 
So as you can see here, I mean, I didn't go through all of the <laughs> different iterations that could exist for our branded organic search. Um, that's why it's so much lower than what you'd see in, in like SEMrush. But you'd have to, you know, it's how you pull this report in GA versus off of segments really comes down to if you know um, how people are searching, which is why I still think SEMrush might be the better way to go when trying to figure out your, your branded search percentage. Um, but once you have those segments dialed in, you can really dig into um, some more information to see how they interact on the site. But that goes a little bit outside the scope here. Uh, this is more of an optional metric for you to dig into if you um, have the tools and also the, the inkling for at this top funnel level to really dig.